welcome to my channel again thanks for joining me today uh last week i brought you no last two weeks i brought you chicken soup and uh, i got a few comments about it lovely i'm happy that people are making my uh, recipes actually my uh, sister-in-law texted me they made chicken soup and uh, that really makes me happy <laughs> i was overjoyed <laughs> It's nice. That that makes all this worth it. So uh, thanks for joining me again in my African kitchen. And in my African kitchen, we're just cooking African food. Today I'm bringing to you yok gari. Uh, it is gari and beans basically. And uh, all you need is your black eyed pea beans. I know lots of people don't like this because it sort of takes forever to cook. Uh, but I'm going to show you a way to cook it and it will cook in no time at all. Uh, this is, uh, what shall I say, one of the basic foods in Ghana. It's eaten by everybody from as soon as you can talk or chew or eat till forever. When If you haven't got teeth, you can eat this. If you've got teeth, you can eat this. It's amazing. So basically, we're going to cook some beans in a pot and uh, to cut the cooking time normally this would take forever but to cut the cooking time we're gonna put a little bit of baking soda in there and that will cut it right down to no time at all and then we're gonna fry some uh, plantain which normally goes with it and we're gonna serve it with some gari and uh, of course Ghana zomi so let's crack on and cook yokagari so i've cut the bag put it in here and you have to sort of you know look in it and and get out the ones that aren't looking good and if there's a stone in there you know because at the end of the day it is packaged somebody worked on there it's a human and we have we make mistakes so the stone might have end up in there or rotten ones go in there pick these ones out and then wash it so that's what i've done washed it put a bit of water on it we're gonna pop it on the fire and uh, let it start boiling once it starts to boil then we'll put um about quarter of a teaspoon of this on so i'll show you as i make it so we've popped this on and it's about two three minutes on here and it started boiling so i'm just gonna go in with a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda it just makes it bubble a bit so you just have to sort of you know make sure it doesn't go in on top of your stove and all of that but it helps cut the cooking time dramatically which is what we're looking for we haven't got forever and it does make it go this sort of greenish looking that's only whilst it's cooking because once all the chemicals and whatnot in it just cooks off it will just go brown so our beans has been on the fire here just over 15 minutes and uh, we went in with a, a quarter teaspoon of uh, uh, baking soda if I can talk uh, and now you can see it, it's, it's, it's lost all the water all the water is boiled off so we're just topping up water here and this is boiled water it just makes you know your cooking you know carry on cooking because if you put cold water then it has to you know take the time and boil again long and if you haven't got time then the idea would be to boil the kettle so now I'm going to go in with a little bit of salt and this this is like a straightforward food read it does it doesn't call for you know too much little things a little bit of herbs in here a little bit of that that to mask the taste of uh, the actual thing it's beans we want to eat and so it's just beans we're going to taste and so just a little bit of salt and that is it really uh, we will leave this on here until it's tender okay family so our beans is on and as we can see it's looking great to test to see if it's cooked you, you you take it and you press it and as you can see this is not cooked yet it's still got you know hard bits in it so we're gonna still carry on leaving it there 
top it up with a bit of water keep topping it up because you don't want to burn it basically keep topping it up until it's cooked okay so whilst our beans is cooking uh, we're gonna peel our uh, ripe plantains and this we're gonna fry it we're just gonna salt it and fry it again here no like masking it with you can just cut it diagonally like that like that this food is so easy to make it's so filling as well so basically when you are at your most hungry uh, in Ghana you you find this by the roadside everywhere your kagari or gari and beans you find it everywhere you can buy it without the plantains or you can buy it with the plantains but mostly you want it with the plantains it's amazing with the plantains and uh, if you're broke this is what you had when we when i was a child we were broke the whole time so that is all we ate the beans oh god it's amazing my mom's beans is to die for and you don't put it doesn't take much you don't have to put anything in it just a little bit of salt in the beans and if it's cooked properly it's the best thing you ever ate no none of you know putting a little bit of you know herbs here and there no this is the straightforward beans and it's amazing so I've peeled our uh, plantains and I'm just gonna uh, rinse it a little bit and uh, put a little bit of salt on it and then that will sit on the side until uh, I fry it when the beans is ready uh, for the meantime I'm gonna peel our onions and cut some and then I'm gonna fry that in uh, our Ghana Zumi this can be any red oil that you have at hand um i'll show you <laughs> okay family so uh whilst our beans is cooking we will fry our plantains so i've put i've popped some oil on here and it's right about ready now to just pop this thing here. Okay, family, so our beans has been on here and it needs a bit more water, but as you can see, it's gone totally sort of brown and very mush right now. Look at it. it it's cooked. So here you can taste for salt to see if you want a bit more salt in there. Other, other than that, um, it's nice when you are um, stirring a sort of intentionally sort of mush some of the beans in there makes it just the best really for serving so i'm giving it a little bit of water and really right now i'm just giving it about two minutes on here and then it will be done our plantain is there and it's almost done so so our beans is totally cooked now as you can see i've sort of gone ahead and sort of you know stirred it and mashed some of the beans in so you can see it's not like all whole beans but you know sort of mashed up i've tasted for salt and it tastes amazing and on this side here you can see our plantain it doesn't take a minute to cook really it's been on here for about what about five minutes and it's cooked so just gonna get them out of this hot oil overall the beans have been on for an hour so I'll turn the beans fire off and uh, I'll get these bad boys out of the hot water hot oil not hot water <laughs> if only okay so the last thing to do is to melt some of uh, the zomi yeah in here just a little really you don't need that much at all in there put the onions in there because I don't want it to burn basically the onion is just to sort of give it a sort of a smell a nice smell but zoomy really is oil red oil that's been you know cooked in a certain way things have been fried in onions and other things ginger and whatnot so it's, it's a flavored oil really and it's nice 
served with this food so i'll just heat up i'll heat it up with the onion scene and then i'll show you how i serve this so our oil and onions have been frying for about a minute actually less and that is it you don't want it to burn but you know just a little bit of a fry and that is it really now let's serve i'll bring it to the table and uh, to serve it basically i'll just do it like that so this is when we will need our dye Just a little bit of curry on top, and there. Uh, oh, another spoon <coughs> for that. How <laughs> terrible! And then a little bit of this on here. And then we just go like that. Really, normally this would depend on the person eating it, really, and how they want it. Or if you are buying it by the roadside, then basically it depends on the person serving. <laughs> so, I would actually, I'll just do that because I was thinking that I could just turn it on, like you know, and make it the shape of the bowl. But nah, I don't think so. <coughs> Bit more of this for good measure. Bit more of that on there, and uh, this is very soft. So pop a few of that on here. And if you bought this on the roadside from when I was a child, then you know it would have been wrapped for you in a this thing in the leaf which these days they don't use anymore and the smell by the time you get home the smell of that you know leaf would have infused in uh, in your your kagari and then you know when you open it it's oh my god the smells that hits your nose and you are that hungry it's like amazing really so this is our yoka gari, gari and beans. This, you don't have to eat it with the gari. It depends on you, how you want it, how hungry you are. And I'm talking in Ghana, so you will be hungry. You know, normally in Ghana, you, you don't, you know, eat lunch, uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Sometimes you eat once a day or twice a day or something like that. So when your food is ready, you are ready for it and you do need it. So uh you want the gary with it so this is how it will be served and uh basically yum yum enjoy i hope you make it at home and uh if you are you are going to ghana if you are in ghana for the first time or something like that find it and try it and it's amazing it will blow your mind it's honest food and it doesn't take lots of ingredients it's it's it's, it's just really food on its own and you know tasting the real stuff not you know, masked with anything, Mas masked, if I can say the word. <laughs> it's not, you know, no other smells and, you know, this doesn't need garlic and ginger and all of that sorts of things. It's beans on its own, honest beans, plantain on, on its own. So I hope you do make it and uh, enjoy or let your family and friends try it. Uh, show my video to your friends and share my, my video and likes and comments and uh, if you have any other ideas or things that you like me to cook from uh, any African country you can uh, pop it down below and uh, I will uh, see what I can do. Um, thanks for joining me again today. I brought to you Gary and Beans and I hope you've enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Gosh, guys, I wasn't going to do this today, but hmm, I just, my husband was, I said my husband to eat it, and then he started eating it, and he gave me, a, you know, a spoonful, and then 
now I've broken. You can take the Ghanaian out of Ghana, but you cannot. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've literally chopped him off the plate. And there I am, munching it down. <laughs> oh, this brings back my childhood. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, this is yummy. Mm. 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 This is when you've been brought up with this stuff, darling. You can try not to eat it, but hey, once you've smelt it, I can't help myself right now. I can eat all of this and then <laughs> hate myself, but hey. I hope you do make this at home. It's so easy to make and it tastes amazing. I mean, if it means eating once a day, you know, I'm all for it. I'll eat once a day just so I'll eat this. It is so tasty. Honest food. I I, I can't stop saying that enough. I, you know, I don't mind, you know, the way we've learned to cook these days. A little bit of spice here, a little bit of that there, a little bit of that there. But... Honest food is when you've cooked beans and all you needed to put in it is you know a pinch of uh, you know salt and you've got you've got you've got lovely tasting food like that you know it doesn't take hassle to get this so please make it and that an hour this is what I have so I hope you do make yours it's so yummy and it's right now I'm smelling all kinds of you know colors and tasting you know Ghana literally. I will, if you're watching this, you know, I remember the junction, do you remember? <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So make it and enjoy it. Thanks for joining me.